Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we'll be having a tutorial finally. So I'm going to be changing this hair color from that to this color. If you want to watch how I did it, um, just continue watching. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Rosemary. Please subscribe. <music> So this is what the hair looks like before my client got tired of how bright the orange color was she said she was just tired of it and she's always feeling some of anytime she wears the hair so she wanted me to like tone it down a bit i'm going to show you guys the normal water color method this is i have a video on it on my channel already so i'm going to be doing this because of the newbies on my channel um so yeah first of all i'm going to spray my got to be spray to like avoid the color from getting on the lace and then i'm going to be using my adult dye in cinnamon and cajun spice then i'll be using my boiling hot water and pouring it in my bowl i'm just showing you guys what the cinnamon looks like so i'll be dumping the full bottle of cinnamon into that water because it's a bit darker than the cajun spice and then i'm going to be using like half bottle of the cajun spice that one is a lot brighter so yeah, I'm going to be using just half of that and that is all you need. One bottle of, Cajun, of cinnamon and then half bottle of Cajun spice. So you're going to mix, mix until everything is nice and well mixed. Then you'll be dumping your hair in gradually. You're going to be dunking it and bringing it out. And then I'm going to also use my comb to comb it to make sure every part of the hair gets the dye. If you're an OG, you already know this method. Um, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys how to tone down hair colors. If your hair color is too bright, you can always get a darker shade of that color and tone it down. Um, yeah, that is the purpose of this video. And for the new people on my channel, welcome, welcome. That is why I decided to like have this tutorial. So I'm just basically dumping the hair in the mixture and then I'm making sure every part of the hair gets the dye. And I'm going to also comb it to make sure every strand gets the dye yeah after making sure all the hair got the dye i left it in that water for like an hour i think over an hour so it depends on how vibrant you want the color to be you can leave it for as long as you want so right now i'm just going to squeeze it out of the water and i'm going to just rinse the hair with normal water i'm not going to shampoo this no i'm going to just rinse it twice so i don't wash off the color too much because it's a semi-permanent dye if you know adult dye it's a semi-permanent dye so i won't be using shampoo um, i'm just going to rinse it with water and then i'll be going in with my hair milk my keratin milk the ogs already know this process i'm just going to apply it on the hair for 40 minutes tie it in a plastic bag and wait for 40 minutes until i rinse it out after i rinse it out i'm going to darken the closure a bit so i'll be using adult dye in mocha and i'll be just applying it on the closure part of the hair and then afterwards i'm going to condition it i didn't show the part where i conditioned the hair but it's normal conditioning i used the tresemme conditioner in color revitalize and then i left it till the next day which is for 24 hours yeah and then i'm going to rinse it to cold water and i'm going to allow the hair to air dry and i will go ahead to style the hair this is what the hair looks like it looks too toned like some part of the hair got the dye like this part got the dye compared to this side it's like that because the closure texture is different from the bundles itself so that's why it looks like that but it's not bad it's not bad so what i'm going to do now is just to like go ahead and style the hair wear this on the stormy You already know this i'm using this to combo to like oil the hair just a tad bit you don't need too much
going ahead to section here as usual i don't know i'm explaining this to you guys but you already know this anyways i'm doing it for the sake of the newbies i have a full tutorial on how to straighten hair on my channel so you can check it out i'm going to speed up this process as i go so i'm supposed to trim this hair she didn't really give me a specific length but she wants it a bit shorter than what it is so sometimes I trim my hair before, while I straighten the hair or sometimes I trim it after I'm done straightening the hair. I think for this method I'm going to trim as I go but first of all you're going to have to straighten the hair before you trim it. So I'll be using my clipper to trim the hair. Uh, I'm just eyeballing it, you know. I'm going to take off this. Depends on the length you want to trim it. You can always measure. Before you trim up any length of hair. Let's say you're going for 14 inches, 13 inches. You can always measure before you trim. So after trimming, I'm going to go ahead to straighten and bob the hair. Because we are going for a bob wig. So, we are doing the next line Just going to trim off a tad bit. Not really a bit there, but So the higher you go, the longer the hair becomes. So you're not going to cut it as short as the first line. Bobbing a hair, spread it down, call you.
so the higher i go the lesser i trim the hair i trim just a bit as i'm going up and then once i'm up i don't even trim at all i leave the length as it is the main part you're supposed to trim is the down part um yeah like the first three lines mostly yeah the first three lines you can cut off but once you're going up you're going to just reduce the length of hair you cut and you just go ahead so everything will blend you know so you just go ahead and pop everything so yeah 